the opportunity to compose a chapter of organization development in Thailand for the Global, OB, Global OD book, chapter, uh, fourth ed edition. Our chapter is a story in five parts. The first part is a paradigm shift. The second part is a story of one. The third part is uh, the links that matter. And the fourth and the fifth parts include the outputs and outcomes as well as alumni feedback. This process that we are sharing is one of a kind because it, is enabled, uh, it has enabled us to connect both the individual and the institution, the II connection, to make things happen for a difference. And this is what we call transformative learning and change. This transformative learning and change started when I was assigned to be the director of the Instruction Development Center at Silliman University, Philippines. And it was during this time that I was exposed and constrained to explore areas of expertise, which is organization development. My assignment was in curriculum instruction development. And it was through this process that I was able to connect with individuals and institutions that helped me uh, be able to respond to the need for change. And the first project that I was assigned to was on faculty renewal. The story of one is about one practitioner, and that's me. When I was assigned to be the director of the Instruction Development Center, and I was very good at curriculum and instruction development, but no knowledge or no exposure to organization development. With the help of Dr. John McGuire and Dr. Pusis Darby, both of them have given me the resources that I could master to explore organization development. And I also sought out outsourced Dr. Jacqueline Blandin, the president founder of Southeast Asia Interdisciplinary Development Institute, SIDI for short. And I asked her to come to Silliman University conduct, to conduct the OD, workshop for the faculty. And this started off my whole process of knowing, learning, and implementing right off the bat uh, organization development. When I started doing organization development uh, activities in, at Silliman, uh, I was exploring ways in which uh, systems approach to engaging people to work together in a workshop was not enough for me because I needed a way to help leaders and managers, executives and supervisors to think differently, to shift their mindset. And this is when I tried to search for ways and I stumbled into the workshop of the strategy of the dolphin of Dudley Lynch. And this is when I discovered and extrapolated the four brain model of Dudley Lynch and call it whole brain literacy. And the process that I put it together was to use the symbolic weaving together of four or five different ways of looking at an experience, a problem, a situation, and use the thinking through process, which I call now whole brain literacy. This whole brain literacy enables one and many, many as one, to think together for a difference, to think together to transform, learn, and change. Engaging in organization development activities is a very challenging uh, part of my job. And I explored ways to uh, learn more of the discipline. And then I reviewed what has been done before over time. And in this process of reviewing, I discovered that there could be three major waves and two clusters in each wave that will help me understand what was going on and what I can use to make a difference, to make a change to enable participants to go through transformative learning change. The first wave has something to do with normative behavioral group sensitivity training and the rational approach to um, change using action research and survey feedback. The second wave could be clustered into the general systems approach, systems analysis, total quality management, quality of work life. And the last wave that I see are the learning systems learning processes, thinking appreciative inquiry, and all these processes that look through the learning positive ways of doing things. And the last sector of that wave 
is where I introduced the thinking through process called whole brain literacy and make this as a leveraging tool to make people change. All right. In these three clusters of waves of OD strategies and approaches, I zeroed in on the, the third wave or the third movement of the learning process. The first movement that I see in learning is one with tender loving care, you know, with parents and, and uh, adult um, caretaker who help the learners learn to love themselves, learn to be themselves. That to me is the first wave of learning. You learn to be yourself with a tender loving care approach to learning. The second wave is I, what I call think, learn, create wave of learning where the expert, the teachers, those who are good at um, their skills and would pass on the skills, transfer the skills to their learners. Now in ODT, organization development and transformation, the process is really engaging the participants, the learners to think differently about what they already have learned and transform that, relearn it, unlearn it, and learn new ways of doing things and then make the change. And this is where the whole brain tools, the thinking through tools of the Lilins of I explore, I control, I preserve, and I pursue. I transform it into a what I call whole brain literacy to enable the participants to transform, to learn, and to change. The third part of the book is what I entitled, The Links That Matter. How did this happen? Uh, when I was exploring the new field that I gained, the new expertise, the new experience, the new set of skills that I had, I, I was able to connect um, different institutions from SIDI, Southeast Asia Interdisciplinary Development Institute, to Organization Development Institute of Dan Cole, Cleveland, because I wanted to be able to learn from other people who are doing OD, then to IOTA, International Organization Development Association, and then to um, AODN, Asia OD Institute. So learning from uh, one with each other in different institutions allowed me to connect. And that's when the butterfly, what I call the butterfly and collective effect, enabled me to gain breakthrough in making these institutions. And when this happened, I was able to respond to Brother Martin when he asked me to design in Barcelona during the IOTA conference uh, in 1994. He came to attend the conference and asked me to design an OD program for Assumption University. And I said yes. And that was the beginning of the link that was important between where I was and the institutions that I serve. So this is an example of the waves of, of masters of MMOD, batch 1, 2, 21 now, and the PhD OD uh, from batch 1. We now have batch, 19, uh, batch 9. So the waves of uh, intake of students who are taking MMOD, masters of management in organization development, and PhD OD uh, have come to a resounding number. So far we have graduated 400, about 450 master's degree for a period for the past 18 years uh, and for the PhD we have about 58 numbers. The fourth part of this book presentation is about our outcomes and outputs or outputs and outcome. And these are the processes that we have generated, engaged our learners to do and out of that engagement we were able to draw seven key concepts that allowed us to understand what is it that enable people, what, I, what is it, what are the forces that make uh, participants in, in, in OD to transform, learn and change. And this is the framework that we have developed uh, out of the dissertations and out of the action researches that the students have done. We have um, summarized, done a synthesis of the 43 dissertations of our PhD and uh, we were able to draw out key concepts and this what I call quantum power springs for transformative learning and change and it begins at the core which is the and someone has to be clear with OD purpose and be open to what unfolds OD presence and um, 
be able to see the perspectives of OD from one spectrum to the other and uh, then be guided by OD principles as he pursues the passion of OD to make a difference in the lives of learners and then engage in a process and do the practice. So all of the seven P's make, when put together, become um, a, a leveraging force to make a change, uh, which I call transformative learning and change. The last part of our uh, ODT chapter for Thailand is about the, the Organization Development Institute, which we have put up at the Graduate School of Business, which is a facility that responds to the call of clients and a number of our clients um, include Singha uh, Corporation, Kung Sri Bank, uh, Ladder for Leaders Program, um, Ports Authority of Thailand, and many others. And our design of the processes that we engage the participants from this organization reflect the brain-based framework of mapping the critical areas for transformative learning and change. And we also use the seven quantum power springs or critical power inspiration, inspiring concepts that allow people to change. And we engage the participants in a process that begin with uh, instruments, assessment of how they are functioning, and then they are provided and allowed to explore conceptual frameworks in understanding their world of work and then engage in actual application. So these frameworks allowed us to be able to engage in the project that made changes in the organization through the projects that the, the participants are able to do. One design that we have, one design that we have done is one, the latest one that we did for Singha, which is called Talent Development Program Number 3, and we engaged them through the activities that allow them to really be very creative and responsive, both in their OD project and in their corporate social responsibility project. And out of that project, we were able to come, we were able to help them, uh, this one, come up with a, a, a composition of all the six projects that they have that represent the total project of the corporate social responsibility. And this was a very, helpful, very amazing, very integrative uh, presentation of the six projects of the Talent Development Program Group Number 3, uh, which we just did last October. And finally, we, as part of Part 5, we were able to collect five feedback from our alumni, and the feedback that they have given us uh, represents the template by serendipity. There were five who uh, responded. The first one was from BATS1, and the second one was from BATS4, and this BATS1, BATS4, and this is BATS5, and then BATS6. And the one from the master's MMOD group is this, from BATS19. And when I compose this synthesis of their feedback, it just represents the corporate alumni group brain of how they have learned uh, the process. In designing our program, we have this template, so to speak, to be able to identify the content, what is it that um, they need to uh, look at as an issue, they need to identify the context, what is it that is um, running or occurring in the situation, how do they see both the content and the context, and engage them to understand that around a core purpose and using the whole brain process and other processes for transformative learning and change. So in a way, this framework gives us as a, a map and a guideline to design and um, engage in learning process. And finally, the program that we have designed in, and implemented and promoted in ABAC represents this, where the West meets East and the East meets West. This is the framework we presented during the Academy of, Man Academy of Management annual meeting last August uh, 2011, when Dr. Jackie Benkert and Dr. Anne Clancy and Dr. Odomsak, the late Dr. Odomsak, and myself were the team that presented the action learning of, of the PhD and M MMOD program at Assumption University Graduate School of Business. 
Thank you very much for this opportunity to share our experience in OD.